Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the topic of transfer orders in Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operation. If you are watching this video for the first time, my name is Shriram Shivashankaran and I have been posting videos related to Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operation, supply chain and uh, finance related modules. So we just started off with procurement and sourcing and right now we are into inventory management module and uh, we have already covered about posting item arrival journal and also how to create item arrival overview so in this video we are going to look at the option of transfer orders in dynamics 365 so transfer orders are used to transfer materials between sites or between one warehouse to another warehouse or from one location to another location basically it helps you to move the inventory across the locations so generally transfer orders are used when your warehouses are located in different locations or uh, you want to move the material from one location to another location in which primarily a transit time is involved right so otherwise if uh, if the transit if there is no transit time then probably you can use any of the journals which are available in transfer journal may be a possible option with which you can move the inventory but if there are any transit times which are available and uh, you want to ship the material and then receive it then transfer orders are used but even in those scenarios there are there are certain possibilities during which you have the same team which completes the shipping and also performs the receiving operation then how to automatically receive the transfer orders that's what we are going to see in this video okay so let's see how to create a transfer order first click on new you need to navigate to this path click on new select the from warehouse you need to select the warehouse from which you are going to move the material i am typing a warehouse 24 and then select the two warehouse to which warehouse you are going to send the material so update the two warehouse i am not going to change the shipping date and receiving date i will click on add and then you just add the item which you have in stock in warehouse number 24 which you want actually to move to 62 so i will select the item number i'll just select an item number i know i have stock for this item i want to move two quantity of this item from warehouse 24 to 62 using this transfer order 279 okay so if there are any product dimensions which are applicable update the respective dimensions in this field and uh, i am not giving any specific batch so i want the system to automatically reserve the material so in the setup i have also enabled reserve items automatically so i directly click on save so once i click on save this after this i need to do ship the transfer order so in order to ship the transfer order click on ship transfer order and then here instead of ship now i need to select all so once i selected all the ship quantity is ready at this time i can directly click on ok and then the transfer order which is currently in the status created will turn into ship let's see it right now so now i click on ship transfer order this i'll change it to all and then uh, i click on okay right so now this will process the transfer order and the material will move to the transit warehouse which means the material has gone out of our premises and it is currently available in the transit warehouse and the status of the transfer order is not shipped so let's check the transactions also if we go to the transactions page there will be four transaction lines which are created you can see that the material has been sold from warehouse number 24 and it has been purchased in warehouse 27 so a transaction line is also created since because once this transaction is received then the material will move from warehouse transit warehouse 27 to 62 some of you might have the question where the transit warehouse need to be tagged if you go into the warehouse original warehouse 24 that is an option to tag the transit warehouse also so you can see the warehouse tagged here is 27 that's the reason it is now available in the transit warehouse now the stock is not available in in our warehouse 24 now it is actually available in 27 so now once again what i need to do is i need to receive this material to order to receive this transfer order go to receive click on receive again and then i will click on all so i want to receive all the materials right now and then i click on ok so the moment i click on ok the status of the transfer order will change from shipped to received right so first we created the transfer order and then we shipped the transfer order and then we receive the transfer order now if we get back to the transactions again you can see that the transaction 
which was ordered has been removed but instead of that there are four transactions which are created sold from 24 and purchased in 27 again sold from the transit warehouse 27 and again purchased in warehouse 62 right so this is the standard process of shipping and receiving the transfer order but in case i don't want to receive this transfer order manually and i want to receive it automatically in the moment when i ship it i don't have i'm not going to send this material to a different warehouse location but instead i want to quickly update this in the stock then uh, what is the option available so similarly i'm going to again create a transfer order and then i'll click on add i'll add the same line in this case we are going to automatically receive the transfer order we are not going to manually receive it in order to do that i still enable the reserve items automatically and then i click on save and then once i click on ship in the navigation pane you have the um, ship transfer order option now click on all and then instead of directly clicking on ok i need to enable auto receive this auto receive option will automatically receive the item the moment when i ship it right so once i click on ok the status will change from created to received instead of created to shipped so this is the beauty of the dynamics 365 so now it is automatically received and i have not received it manually and then now if i go to the transactions there will be four lines which are generated without even we are manually receiving it so it has sold it has been sold from 24 to 27 and it is sold from 27 to 62 so our materials are finally received in varos number 62 right so that's it for the today's video so you now learned about uh, how to perform a standard transfer order in dynamics 365 and how to also how to automatically receive an item using the auto receive option in uh, transfer orders in dynamics 365 finance and operation if you're not following my profile please do it's please do the same and uh, i'll catch you soon tomorrow with another interesting topic thank you